Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, let's take a detailed, in-depth look at this very unique and very low mile example of the 1994 Ford F-150 XLT. Part of the main philosophy of my channel is trying to find mint condition older vehicles to give reviews of, since you can't find them pretty much anywhere on the internet, and it gives you a fantastic look at a vehicle that pretty much looks as if it was new back in 1994. Plus, fantastic unique color scheme you don't hardly see anymore. This is going to be a full and in-depth review of the F-150. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And throughout the video I'll insert a couple of comparison clips between this 1995 model, same generation, except this one has the 7.3 liter turbo diesel power stroke in it. And a ton of people swear by the 7.3 versus the 6 liter that came out after that, so I figured it was only suiting fit since they were of the same generation to go ahead and insert a comparison clip of them. And today, I'm at All City Auto Sales in Indian Trail, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. Definitely my favorite color scheme on these older F-150s, this light teal and white combo with a plush light gray cloth interior. Definitely unique to say the least. burgundy interior and the diesel, more of a bucket seat type fashion, only 69,000 original miles. Beautiful exhaust note. Now let's give a start up of the diesel. Gotta love the side of that classic diesel. Fully leather wrapped steering wheel, nice and thick and extremely smooth power assist steering. Also comes standard with an electronically controlled four speed automatic transmission with low gear selection and overdrive selected on the stalk here. For these vehicles, you can also get a five speed manual transmission as an option, as you can see here. And all the way over and down for reverse. And we're going to cut on the headlamps. Full power windows. And let's go and check out the exterior, shall we? The Ford F-150 has always been pretty much the number one selling truck in America for years and years. This particular generation is one of my favorite. I just love the blend between the kind of old traditionalistic body styling and this one where it kind of had a little bit of a refresh before the complete redesign in 1997. It's pretty much straight, simple, clean, and straightforward, just as an American pickup should be. 
This was just an unreal, clean example of an F-150 that you just cannot find anymore, so I jumped at the opportunity to be able to make this video. Improvements over the years were pretty modest, including the CFC free air conditioning system, increased door safety beams built into the side panels, as well as the integration of like an upper third brake light in the back, as well as standard driver side airbags, whereas the 250 models, as well as other heavy duty trucks from Chevrolet and um, GMC and the like, those requirements didn't apply to those trucks back then. As you can see, this one does have the optional dual gas tank set up for increased range of the vehicle, as well as, you saw a little clip earlier, the custom street neat body cladding going across the side. Full tonneau cover over the rear, blends nicely with the vehicle with a couple slots in the middle, and it tapers off into the back kind of like a little integrated spoiler. Overall length was 197.1 inches with a height of 70.8 inches and an overall width of 79 inches. Total curb weight was around 3,896 pounds. And we're going to pop the hood. This particular generation F-150 came with a 5 liter electronically fuel injected V8. Two valve per cylinder produced around 205 horsepower at 4,000 RPM and 275 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPM. Zero to 60 time is around 10.5 seconds, with a quarter mile time of 17.7 seconds at 76 miles an hour. And with a 32 gallon fuel tank running on regular unleaded gas, it achieves an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating of around 13 city, 16 highway. In 1995, F-250 models saw the introduction of a new 7.3 liter direct injected turbo diesel V8. Built by International, it produced around 235 horsepower and 425 foot-pounds of torque. The 5-speed manual transmission was standard with the automatic 4-speed available. It also had a factory towing specification limit of around 5,000 pounds, but many people familiar with these trucks and the diesel equipped models know that they can usually tolerate a good bit more than just 5,000 pounds. Went ahead and shut it off for this portion just to drown out the beeping. The interior is quite plush for a pickup truck. Nice plush bench seat. Padded trim going across the door panel here. You have your lower storage down below, extra storage up top, your power windows, power locks, manual mirrors, as well as manual side vents. The bench seat is fully manual, but it does come equipped with power lumbar down below here, adjusted by that little pull lever. Manually tilting steering wheel, down below here is your fuse panel, and up here is where you switch between your front and rear gas tanks. It automatically adjusts. So let's go ahead and see how this baby sounds. EFI 5 liter V8 already has a fantastic exhaust note stock. Mat it to a set of nice sounding dual exhausts and you have a fantastic sounding vehicle.
still get a quick exhaust clip of this one as well. Shut her up. The interior of the F-150 is pretty simple. It's a basic radio, AM, FM with in-dash cassette deck. You have your preset stations, cassette settings, seat, audio adjustments. Storage pockets in the dash, or cubby trays. Manually dimming rear view mirror. You also have a simple to use climate control system. Max AC, different zones, front defrost, temperature, and fan speed. Down below here you have a power outlet, 12 volt, and a lighter and ashtray. It's also a little storage cubby down below there. Integrated cup holders, full armrest, as well as the little sliding set of windows back here. For either just getting a little bit of ventilation or if you want to stow stuff through the vehicle. Interior illumination. This particular vehicle is not four-wheel drive. If it was, the four-wheel drive controls would be located here. You have your cruise control located around the steering wheel. Like I said, your fuel tank switch, intermittent wipers. And that's pretty much it. Pretty standard. Nice comprehensive set of gauges. Tachometer off to the right, which is a nice touch. You have your temperature, fuel readout, voltometer, as well as oil pressure. Alrighty. Check out behind the seat right quick. There's a little lever right there. Just pull it and use it to hoist the seat up. It's just a little bit of storage behind there. But we'll go ahead and shut her down. And we'll check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? To gain access to the bed, specifically with this cover, just insert the key, it automatically unlocks it. And it's as simple as that. Plenty of bed space. Even more so with the extended bed versions. You also have power lumbar on the passenger side of the bench seat.
Good size glove box. All the original books. That's something I always enjoy to see when you find a vehicle that's been taken care of so well. Like I said, this is probably definitely one of my favorite generations of the F-150. It's modern, yet still retains some of that classic, more traditionalistic styling that the F-150's always had. It's just a pure, simple pickup truck, unique paint scheme, dual exhaust, and that fantastic 5-liter V8. Gotta love it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at this very unique 1994 Ford F-150. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everyone.